Hi guys, Demoduck82. Uh, we are back here for another part of my Dreadnought building series. So, for this top bit, um, we're going to need to put in some funnels. And we're going to need a bridge. And what else are we going to need? We're going to need our towers to mount our detection systems on. And we're going to need bridge. So yeah, we got a bit of work ahead of us. I'm trying to think of how I would like to go about doing this. I think something like so. And I want to make this a bit rounded like that. Able to bring this on back. So let's round this a bit. There we go. So I believe in here might be a good place to add some additional sensors. So let's go ahead and place a few. Uh, let's see, let's get our portals. And I think I want to do them like every two meters or so. Just want to see how everything is lining up. Looks good. I know I tried. To, try to, ah, sorry. I should be trying to avoid using single blocks, but in situations like this, it's kind of hard to do. So I think. Um, I want to... Let's double up the armor on this. And the reason why we're adding all of these is redundancy. Because redundancy is an important thing in From the Depths. Because redundancy is an important thing in From the Depths. Because redundancy is a okay. You guys kind of get it, yeah. All right. So let's get a nine meter range finder. I don't think we're lining up correctly on this. No. That's okay. I'll put something else. That one might not be able to see out. That one should. I don't know if I'm actually going to put a sensor on every one of these. We'll just see. And while I'm thinking about it, I probably need to come down here and get some more processing cards. There we go. Actually, 
I'm thinking let's rip this bit out. And I want to come out just slightly with this. And you don't have to do it this way. I just think it would make it look a little nicer. I think I might want to try putting some weapons up here. Probably just do like some simple weapons. That's not what I'm looking for. Here we go. And I don't want to do more simple weapons. I want to keep this vanilla for you guys. So we're going to go into simple weapons and I think I just want to do a, like a few uh, twin bofers up here I think like this yeah I think that works oh I think I wanted to come over just like one more it just seems like they are way too close together I still need to go and set up the local weapon controllers for a few of these, but I think we'll be fine with what we got. Oops, wrong button. Okay, let's bring the pattern back up here, like so. Oh yeah, something real quick I just remembered that I forgot to do first time around when I installed this. Um, on these steam engines that are for the propulsion, um, we're only generating power for the um, propulsion itself. So we don't need this running at full tilt, but I'll bring it down to about 2,000 power. Uh, reason is that we may want to go back in and add some roll thrusters to the bottom of this at some point. So, we're just going to cap the power to about there for now for that. Um, I fudged the grain, or the wood grain here. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Do I just want to, no, let's do double. Yeah. Or a two meter block, I mean. Uh, put you right there, 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 and that. Now let's go ahead and put a tower in. And we're going to do decoration. Put some ladders going up. And... We're going to do this shit. like this. It doesn't need to be anything too fancy.
That's better. I'm trying to see if I can make that stick to something, but. It'll be fine. Though, it might just be. Nah, nah, there's a reason why I didn't want to do that. decorate over that to hide those. And yeah, I know radar wasn't a thing in the 1920s. That's fine because you kind of get give a bit of a pass on a few things in FTD because well, just limitations that the game kind of leaves you with. over that. You'll never know that these were there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's try rolling it then. Mirror. Copy all. Paste all. And we'll do left and right positioning. And apply with mirror. Mm, I think I fudged it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's gonna drive me crazy, but I think I'm just gonna put a regular uh, alloy block in there just to give it some extra protection. Okay, so now we got the rear tower done. Let's go ahead and put on. Bridge. I think I want this just slightly elevated. Something like that, and like that. I 
Alright. And... Beautiful. I like to put in these fortress controllers because they look like a throttle. Now, when I go to put in these alloy doors, like I'm about to here, I like to do them this way because it just kind of gives them a little bit of depth. Is there any way to control the interval of that? Someone tell me down in the comments, please. Let's see, I want... There. Bridge doesn't have to be really big. Whoops, I did not mean to place you there. Now, with the glass... One of the things that kind of drives me nuts about the glass in this is that it's... too transparent. You can't really tell there's glass there at times. So, one of the things I like to do is, I'll go in here, grab this color, make it light, and then paint the glass with that color. Just so that it's a little more visible. Like so. Uh, there are some people that probably would like to go in and add some lines to their glass just to make it look fancier. That's all fine and dandy. I'm just not into it. We can turn these back on, just to make sure it's all plugged in correctly. All right. And... Let's see, I want... Decorations. And we're gonna run some stairs up like that. Grab some railing. Now, I'm wondering if I just want to grab that same tower and just copy and paste it up there, or just make another one that's like directly behind here. I think I want to build one directly behind here.
and now we'll just go and prefab this whole goddamn thing that's left up there. Height. Uh, let me be higher. Bam. That works. And let's go grab sliders. Run them all the way down. This is giving me an idea here. No, this one. I don't want it. Uh, something I always try to do, though, every time I go to build something new from scratch, is I'll try a different approach to something that I haven't done yet. Just to test it to see how I like it. I think that looks pretty good. I think I see a better way to do this. Do some funnels. I think I want two of them. I never know how tall to make these damn things. It's always a guessing game. Sometimes I'll take a lazy way out and I will get a um what's it called? One of the steam boilers, the medium size ones actually work pretty good as funnels, oddly enough. And something that it's kind of sneaky that you can do with these sometimes is... I'll show you guys here in a moment. Sometimes I just have to finish the stuff while I'm thinking about it or else I won't ever get it done. But anyway, uh, sometimes what I'd like to do with these is 
I will hide some sensors in them. Because that whole redundancy thing I keep talking about. I don't know how I want to go about doing it in this just yet. Sensors are kind of one of the things that you can't really seem to have enough of. And I really like the laser rangefinders, mostly for the reason that they work in every direction. And I think over here we'll just put like a 360 camera. Now, this is something you've probably seen me do with other builds, but it's just a good way to uh, get more redundancy. And we're just going to use a lightweight alloy block. Um, with this, we want the left and right scaling to be 3.001. And the forward backward scaling to be three. And voila, you would never know that there were sensors in there. Alright, we're going to put two of these guys up here. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. So let's go back in to our AI suite. We're going to add some more general processing cards. There we go. He's looking to be quite the beast, I think. Uh, is there something going Okay, you are not using a local weapon controller. I can fix that. I think I want to use a 4 meter beam for that. And have some protection for it back here. We'll stick the all at one controller down here. Actually, let's tuck it into that corner there. You're not controlled by an AI. My bet I placed that in the wrong spot. So what I would like to do now is we're going to start setting up these local weapon controllers. We need to make sure that they're all going to be on the correct channel. So let's go ahead and go through these real quick and do that. We're just going to use control C, control V. Pretty simple. And we're just going to kind of go run in a big circle. That one looks correct. Are you using the correct shell? Yep. Now, let's do this side. 
guys can kind of see, I just kind of made a big circle. the anti-aircraft weapons, and we'll do them in the same way. Actually, no, I think I had all those set, do I not? That's, yeah, that's all set correctly, it looks like. And all in channel 3, okay. So those are good. And we're going to set this guy for channel 3. Actually, let's change a couple of other settings in here, too. Now, for some crazy reason, the copy and paste doesn't seem to work with this, so it's just better to do it with Control c Control v And I don't know why you guys are still glowing, like... Something's wrong with you. Alright, so now... Let's do us a float test. And I can take this thing off the back now. She's a big girl, that's for sure. Okay, let's pull this out, and I want to spawn in a couple of kingsteads. Okay, I want to make sure that gun mode was on. That looks to be the case. And right now we're just trying to see how much she rolls. Oh yeah, they look like they're really laying the hurt. She doesn't seem like she's rolling too awfully bad. It does seem to be a bit higher in the front, but I can live with that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have to worry about role stabilization for this guy. Yeah, we already uh, did it the first king's dead. So what I want to do now is... do a test by turning off the king's dead. And just make sure that we're not having any issues with our casemate guns shooting the inside of the ship. That doesn't seem to be happening, though. That's why I took off God Mode from the Dreadnought here. Sometimes when that happens, you'll have to go in and set firing restrictions uh, for your casemate guns. But that doesn't seem to be the case here. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let it finish out the Kingstead. 
and I'm going to try spawning in some planes here and we're going to see how it does against them. Look at that black confetti. So we're going to bring in a few of these tech planes and a heavy bomber. And we will see how well it does against them. I probably should save the ship first. Now keep in mind I have not put any repair bots in this whatsoever yet. Looks like the main guns are really doing a number on the bomber. I was able to get a few bombs off. Dreadnought just nearly dodged that. Secondary guns look like they're trying to get some shots off on the bomber. It looks like we need to set up firing restrictions for the main guns. That shouldn't be too hard to do. I was actually more interested in seeing how the anti-aircraft guns were going to fare against these. Uh, how are we for... Mm, okay, yeah. We're good on ammo usage. think one of the planes must have gone into space or something but hmm. it just didn't seem like we we're firing at all at once main guns are trying to kill that guy I think we already dropped the uh, heavy bomber this guy, I don't know if he's going to recover anytime soon. Huh? Looks like he's going to try to prove us wrong. Maybe. No, I don't think it can turn. Okay, well, since we know it, it doesn't need help with roll control, we can come back down here and... I'm just going to have this set to zero. So that way we can focus all the materials used on propulsion. It still needs a little bit more work. Um, we definitely need some fire restrictions for some of the weapons on it. And it still needs some paint. I think I'll do it my regular fleet colors and do some decorative work. But I'll have to wait till next time, I'm afraid. So uh, yeah, if you guys like what you've seen here, please let me know with a like, comment, or subscription. Have yourselves a hell of a day, and keep your armor high. Later.